Hey there, everybody. My name is Mark. I'm with Arts Live Theater, Northwest Arkansas's dedicated children's and youth theater company, and welcome to Curtain Up by ALT. We're going to be coming at you a few times a week with some videos, and in these videos, we're going to have projects that you can do at home. We are also going to have students submitted work you may want to submit. You're singing a song, doing a monologue, playing an instrument, whatever you would like to do, you can submit that to virtualalt2020 at gmail.com. And uh, we're also going to be doing a little bit of a little bit of theater history. So uh, stay tuned. We're glad you're here. Hit that subscribe button so you will know when things are coming up with Arts Live Theater. To build my shadow box theater, I'm going to use a box that's just a little bit bigger than the box I used for the first theater. I'm going to cut these top flaps off so I have access to the inside. And then I'm going to take a piece of printing paper and I'm going to cut a hole out in the front. And this hole is going to be slightly smaller than the piece of paper so I have room to tape it on the inside. And then I chose to paint my box. And I also got some graphics off. Uh, online and I glued those here. I did some glittery stuff on the side and then I taped my piece of paper on the inside. And then you're going to go into a search engine, Google, or whatever, and uh, you're going to type in shadow puppets. And I chose a Star Wars thing. You can print these out, glue them onto a piece of cardboard so they have some weight, and then tape them to a skewer. You're going to take your device, and it can be your phone, your iPad, it can be flashlights. And you're going to slide that right here. And you're going to put that in the back of the box. And then you're going to take your shadow puppets and insert them like this. And go into a dark room, turn all the lights out, and it's going to look like this. of Greek theater lie in the revels of the followers of the god Dionysus. And they sing and they dance in choral form to the stories of the Greek myths. And then one day this guy named Thespis, he introduces a new element of theater and he starts engaging in a dialogue with the chorus. So he becomes, in effect, the first actor. And actors ever since have been proud to call themselves Thespians. And according to a Greek chronicle of the 3rd century BC, Thespis is also the first winner of a theatrical award. He takes the prize in the first competition for tragedy held in Athens in 534 BC. Congrats! And then another playwright shows up, his name is Aeschylus, and he adds a second actor, increasing the potential for more drama. And he first wins the prize for tragedy in 484 BC. Then Sophocles shows up, and he gains his first victory in 468 BC. And then later, Plautus and Terrace began writing comedies, and their shows kind of bombed because they were taking place during the Roman games. And the main events there were sporting events, so their plays, nobody came and saw them because their plays were going on at the same time as a rope dancer and a boxing match. change that expression. Ugh, third time this week. That hostage
hostile alien is gonna get us! Yeah, we're red shirts. Our fate has already been decided. No, you guys. I have a way to protect us. Scotty, two to beam up. Energizing. Scotty, please beam Spock and myself up. Oh, you meant the two of you. I'm just gonna pitch you back. Captain, wait. I believe we are in an alternate dimension again. How can you tell? Subtle clues only a Vulcan could see. And you can make your own films right from home. There are several free apps that you can download, and one of my favorite is called Stop Motion. Now, if you've ever seen the movie The Nightmare Before Christmas, that is stop motion photography. And what they do is they take characters or they take inanimate objects and they move them ever so slightly. And the camera records it one frame at a time. And when you put all these frames together, it looks like that object is moving. I made one yesterday. Have a look at it, show you what it's like, and make your own and send it to us. We would love to see it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be sure to visit artslifetheater.com where we have our virtual theater academy up and running. We have all kinds of fun and exciting projects that you can do from home. You can also submit your videos to virtualalt2020 at gmail.com of you singing, dancing, acting, whatever you would like to do that is creative and we just might feature it on this show. We will also put it on our Virtual Theater Academy show. So uh, check it out. We also have a donate button. We would love for you to donate to Arts Live Theater as we continue to bring theater education to Northwest Arkansas and also subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks so much. Bye.